Hi everyone, I hope you are dealing with the times. Here's a common question. I imagine we have this list of items and as you can see there are data product IDs and some of them are duplicates. How do I confirm that for example in this situation there are no duplicates and if there are duplicates then we catch them and fail the test. First thing we need to do is to get the items. I'm going to use sci get. We can just grab ally elements and then we can write an assertion. Because this is a complex operation, we're going to use should with callback function. So it will get ally elements. And now we can process those ally elements. As a jQuery object, we can use low dash bundle of Cypress to get just IDs. So we're going to use the map, pass the jQuery object, and from each element, we can just take the attribute. Now this is a DOM element when we iterate. And we'll say get me attribute data product ID, which will be the strings. Now we can just print them just to see what's inside. Okay, well, something is wrong. Let's fix this. Data product ID. Okay, much better. We now need to confirm that this list of IDs has only unique elements. The simplest one is to say, okay, uh, get me all unique elements from this array. And Lodash has unique method. We expect that if all elements are distinct, then this array should have the same length as original ones. Okay, now notice it's failing because we do have duplicates. If everything was unique, then this assertion will pass and everything is fine. Now let's go back to our duplicates. Right now we're printing the array, but we imagine it's a long array. We don't know which attributes are the duplicate ones. So instead of this code that just tells you yes or no, we can calculate how many times we see each attribute, again using low dash methods. So the counts will use low dash count by and ideas. And this will be an object, we can print it. Okay, right now notice the attribute A11 was counted twice in the list. So instead of just counting, Let's pick the keys in that object, and we're going to use pick by Lodash Nafas. We pass the object, and now we'll get the value of that key right here, and we'll return true for only the keys of the values above one. So let's print those. Notice out of the big object, we extract just the key that has the duplicate key, and the assertion that we can use to detect that this object has duplicates is this should be empty. And now not only we fail the test but the command log prints the duplicate keys that it finds. If we had more duplicates, not a big deal. We can see all of them at once. Okay. The last improvement in this code, because we're using low dash a lot, we can deconstruct the methods that we plan to use map count by pick by from the low dash object and now our code can be much much simpler. So this is how you detect duplicates in the elements that you're dealing with.